All right, so I pre-filled the torque converter with about four quarts is what I could fit in there for right now. I'll finish topping it when I get it in, but I want to show you. So this thing is fully seated back here now. I can just get my fingers started. It's moving and flowing freely. What I think happened with the other one, this goes, but this one dropped back like three stages. You put it in, you wiggle it left and right a little bit, like kind of like this as you're putting some pressure and it, you feel it drop in. Keep on doing that, keep some pressure on it, you feel it drop again. Usually that's good enough, but this one I could still get my fingers in there. So I kept going for about 30 seconds, 45 more seconds, and all of a sudden, clunk, it went back one more. And there's no way it can drop back anymore now. It's it's back against that back. So it's where it's supposed to be. And it moves very, very freely. This is a heavy torque converter and it spins really freely. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. Um, so I'm going to work on getting this sucker back up and in now.